Hi everyone, um, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, my name is Caitlin Hoyt and I am a wildlife illustrator. I work primarily in acrylic and gouache and currently I am the wildlife drawing instructor for um, the Charlotte Street Arts Center. Um, I do commission work and I'm also involved in um, some group shows coming in the spring, um, including the Penny Gallery also. Um, so the start of 19 was very different for me. Um, I was a fourth year kinesiology student at UNB and I was fully anticipating to be working in the health organization right now. So that was a bit of a twist. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, at that point I was kind of courting different health organizations to fulfill the internship for my degree. And uh, yeah, nothing really felt right. I had an opportunity to sit in with a few different of these, these organizations and it didn't really feel authentic to me. So at this point I was in uh, a mindfulness course which kind of introduced the idea of uh, mixing art with meditation and mindfulness and kind of exploring that. So, um, so yeah, I, I immediately knew after taking that project that I wanted to do that for my internship. So on a total whim, I reached out to Jennifer Pazienza, who is a incredible oil painter and mindfulness practitioner. And to my total surprise, she said, yes, she did want to work with me over the summer. So um, yeah, we, we spent the summer, um, here, I'll give you a photo. We spent the summer, um, kind of unpacking my, my feelings about creating art, because up to this point I was really afraid to paint because I thought that, oh, I'm not good enough, so it's not gonna turn out, so I'm not gonna try. So so yeah, I, I was too afraid at that point, but we explored mental health and about um, just kind of overcoming that, that fear for me, which was huge. And once I started to paint, I, I didn't stop, so. Um, so art for me became a way of exploring my fascination with nature. Um, I really integrated that mindfulness practice into my everyday life. Um, it, the slowing down allowed me to notice the small things about nature that often get overlooked. Um, and just these small things for me would kind of elicit this feeling of magic. And I, I really wanted to share that with other people. Um, like as a kid, I was totally in nature all the time. I was catching frogs and playing in ditches. And, and just as I grew up, I kind of phased out of that a little bit. So this has been a terrific opportunity for me to reconnect with that. Um, so yeah, I, I try to kind of capture that small focused sense uh, in my compositions. They're, they're small and cropped. And it, just to kind of highlight the small details that are going to get overlooked a lot of the time. So like celebrating the mundane and just showing gratitude for the incredible wildlife that we're privileged to have access to here in New Brunswick. So um, my biggest inspiration comes from natural history illustrators, um, but I've always been a digital illustrator since, since childhood. So I've kind of infused a lot of those digital qualities into what I'm doing now. Um, so I, I exaggerate the forms and the colors a lot and um, yeah, nature is super weird, so I want to infuse kind of that, that whimsy into, with my paintings to exaggerate that feature. Um, and yeah, I, I really aim to explore the relationship between wellness, um, creativity, nature, and like bringing attention to the ordinary while also bringing awareness to the unordinary. Um, so my biggest goal is to like work alongside nature publications. Um, I want to promote conservation and do that through painting, education, and, and travel would be awesome. Um, so Catapult has given me a wealth of knowledge. Um, I, I came in not even aware of the things that I didn't know yet. So it's laid out this, this easy path for me to follow, which is terrific. And I feel so much confident going into that in the future. Um, the biggest thing that I gained from this program was probably just uh, like learning how to lean on the qualities that make me different. Um, for so long I was trying to suppress things that maybe were unordinary, but now that I've uh, had the opportunity to lean on it and kind of exaggerate it, it's become part of this, this brand that I have and I feel a lot more confident and comfortable with that. So, um, so yeah, I am super excited to unpack this knowledge over the next few months and incorporate that into my launching career. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in, in collaborating with me um, for any kind of nature publications or anything like that, I'm totally open. Um, and yeah, if, if you want, you can follow me on social media or if you want, you just come see me and I can give you a business card. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs>